<laughs> hey, what's up, other bronies hey, out there? What's up? Okay, I was not at a brony, Target, but okay. And I found a My Little Pony Adventures and Camp Oh, that's simply fabulous. Coloring book and activities book. Now, when I bought this, I couldn't actually go through it because I kind of had to just take it okay. and run and go pay for it. All anyway, right, what's when the I problem? opened it up and I started looking at the things, I was offended. Not but did did he just say? Did he just say that he was offended? Oh no! Donnie, quick, sound the alarm! This man's offended by the contents of a children's coloring book not being mature enough for his viewing pleasure! Hurry! Everyone needs to know! Call Fox News! This is really important! No one cares. No one cares that you're offended. Who would have guessed? No one gives a crap. Please stop acting like that's an argument. It makes my head hurt. I was offended. Not by the childish activities and Okay, so you're not either, offended by the childish but honestly, activities. honestly, because of just Hasbro's un inability to actually market to its true, you know, demographic. Anyway, Wait a second, say that so again. Just Hasbro's un inability to actually market to its true, you know, more time. demographic. True, you know, demographic. What are you smoking? Hasbro's been doing perfectly fine for the past 25, 30 years marketing the same show to little girls. I don't think they're changing that demographic to teenage boys anytime soon. Especially when that market is practically saturated with idiots. Wink, wink. Okay, let's see these marketing sins. Anyway, so the first one that I come up to is how many. Count the items below. Okay, let me count. On the line. One. Two, they have how many sons? Three, and then blank sons. Four. Now the funny thing is they five, actually thought they had to have an answer key. If you can uh, six, see that. No, no, stop. Answer. No, oh, no. come on, man! Okay, you ruined so it. What's Spoilers, really dude. Is they're putting cliches in You must in be here. real fun like, to watch movies with. Twilight Sparkle over to her. Oh wait, wait! I want to trace it with my finger. You know, that kind of crappy, stop, you know, uh, stereotypical. You're turning the page. You know, you're turning the page. Look, oh, oh, this is Spark, creative. Spike yeah, just dragon, draw. Okay? We, we don't even know. He's never referred to as Spike the Dragon. Just draw. Just Spike. He likes Twilight Sparkle's magic. Draw some stars. Okay, now... Oh, they tell you to draw stars. That That's clever. Like her magic. Ah, uh, those Hasbro been, folks, um, they sure yeah, are smart. In, in a lot of things like, um, Winter Wrap-Up, like that episode, you know, he... You could say in a very childish way that he liked her magic, but really it uh -huh. was, you know, Spike represented her inner demon to... And her insecurities. Inner demons? I mean, I can sort of see where you're coming from here, but... Really? The show is for kids. The magazine is for kids. Or coloring book, whatever. And I don't think any little kid is going to appreciate it when they open up their book. Oh, look! This one I get to draw on. Then he reads a little caption with it, what little English he knows, or she knows, or whatever. Starts reading it. Oh, this is Spike the Dragon. He represents Twilight Sparkle's inner demons. Draw some stars! <laughs> no. I mean, have you ever considered that maybe you're looking into it a little too far? That maybe you're taking things a little too seriously? Insecurities of not having any other skill otherwise other than her magic you know so it's just it's just this stupid like it's insulting is they're they're taking the show and bringing it to its lowest denominator which is just such bullshit lowest denominator and, bullshit you know, all right like, watch the like foul this. language I mean, dude watch the show before they put this crap together wait wait i want to trace it i want to tra no Celestia move your hand to the sun ah, and the moon. Way. she she banished i would have known that had your hand not been it. yes Why i made it all right now the moon side she never flies to the moon to say hello well, to yeah, she probably would suffocate, sister. you know, okay, lack of it's, oxygen it's and all that. Crap like that. Who, who is who? Draw a line from each pony's cutie mark to her correct name. Now, you know, this okay. kind of stuff is pretty cool. I mean, a lot of us brothers right. have actually uh, taken the which time Which one's the star? To memorize like, is that, is that Luna? These different cutie marks. And this is, this oh. is actually using Well, if some you've taken all that time to memorize it, then you must be great at this. Why don't you just do it then, Mr. Pony Scholar Genius Doctor Professor? That it belongs to. You know, and uh, honestly, there's a lot of pages. Really Wait, I'm trying to count the clouds. 
you stop know, it. So that, that's stop. What I'm gonna nope. Do, but mm, just, I, I hate I, you. You're thinking I'd look too much into. You must be real fun at parties, me, dude. I just thought it was insulting to me. I wish you I was know, your friend. And, and Hasbro, you're never ever gonna Wait, make any money off this. Is there show a cameraman? Actually Reco oh my. Who's oh. Show? Who's gonna buy your stuff? That's Go just sad. Go buy it. It's still fun. See oh, you. really? You gave up. At the very end of the video, all of your rage, all of your anger, all of your angst, all the stuff that I still kind of respected about you, you just give up like a good little consumer. And on a side note, as I was trying to say earlier, there's someone else in the car with him controlling the camera. Someone else was involved with us. And I'm not sure whether it was like a captive kind of situation where he's like, No, no, dude, record this. I need to put this on YouTube. And the guy's like, I don't want to. It. It's stupid, man. It's just a book. Get over it. He's like, no, no, do it. Either that or the guy's like, yeah, this is a total social injustice. We need to document this and put this on the internet for people to see. And also, it would have been kind of cool if you held the book still so I could, you know, count the sheep or clouds or whatever the hell they were. And do the maze, but now you're moving it all around, you dick.